sleep now under my skin make sure you try the weather's changing um, year to year it seems to be changing more and more from what I know it's it's affecting um, all the icebergs that seem to be melting a lot more uh, due to climate change and it's affecting uh, temperature all around the world it's quite evident that climate change is a serious issue and particularly with the Australian it's a pertinent issue to Australians because uh, Southeast Asia a lot of the islands may become inundated when uh, when the water levels start rising as a result of the polar caps melting Somebody call out to your brother. Um, well, I know that it's the, it's the gathering of all the pollution that we're putting in the air it's um, making the ozone layer become thicker so that we're trapping the the heat that comes in from the sun and it's trapping it in the spats of the ozone layer comes back in so it's raising the temperature of the world. For me, climate change is about um, people. When you think of rising sea levels in small island states, um, increased floods in Queensland and across the world, uh, the impacts of climate change is something that's going to affect not just um, non-human world but humans and um, people's livelihoods, people's lives. So for me, that's why it's so important that we take action um, and move to renewable energy so that we can you know, cut our carbon emissions in time to um, actually prevent the worst of what climate change will make. Climate change, I guess, is an issue that's on a very global level, and I think that it does not need, it cannot only be solved by just one government or just one people of a nation. Um, it needs to be a collaboration between everyone um, from different nations, um, from those in India um, to Australia to US to Canada to China, and everyone needs to put in effort and. It's something that's so important because um, it's not just an environmental issue, it's a social issue. Um, climate change causes um, like floods and natural disasters that uh, will kill millions of lives and will possibly will also um, cause like food insecurity issues, which is really, really um, one of the most important issues that we're facing these days. I guess it's USA is one of the root problems um, that we're facing. I guess the first big thing that the government did was put in the price on pollution, um, as well as the Clean Energy Finance Corporation, which is a board which is supposed to have $10 billion up for investment in renewable in clean energy, but sadly, a lot of that money is actually going to gas because they're not defining clean energy purely as renewables, which is um, a mistake. They need to be putting it only in uh, things like large-scale solar thermal um, and wind energy, not gas. Gas is still a fossil fuel and it's going to cause devastating climate change. I think the government has done stuff like, you know, carbon tax emissions and stuff. Um, but I guess it should all really start from individual persons. Um, no, sadly, I don't think they have done enough. Um, they've, they've made a start with their policies on you know, the carbon tax, but that's, that's really a modicum of what, what they should really, well, what they ought to be doing, and I think what the general population would like to, like to see them do. I'm not sure about facts or statistics, but I, I believe a lot of people do not want to see the world sort of become overheated and, and islands inundated. They should educate people a lot more, I think. Um, there's a lot of talk about it, but there's not a lot of education, I find, um, and show people what they can do. Australia is one of the first countries to implement a carbon tax and to put a price on carbon, and I think that's really important, and that really shows um, a good example to the other nations on what else they can do um, to tackle climate change. We need to be getting out and um, talking to people on the street and getting them involved in the climate change movement and getting them involved because without numbers we don't have anything. We don't have as many um, dollars as uh, the fossil fuel industry or politicians do but what we do is ha do have is um, strength in numbers. When people get together and organise 
um, we can create massive change and we've seen that through throughout history. We've seen it in the civil rights movement in the United States and here. Um, movements for indigenous rights, um, movements for environmental um, concerns, things like the Franklin Dam um, back in the 80s and the 90s or whatever it was. Um, when people got together and stood up for something, they were able to create a change. And I think that's what we need to take inspiration from and build upon to make sure the government does what they're supposed to do and look after our future, because they won't do it without us.